Hello everyone. Hope all of you guys are safe and secure. Your friends, family, loved ones are safe and secure during this pandemic situation. It has been a great pleasure to meet all of you guys virtually. Year 2020 has started with some different pandemic situations for all of us. And I think this is the first time the entire world is going through the same situation. Uh, it has been a virtual conference is the way to go about it. For last, like you know, generally from a brain virus story perspective, typically by this time we might have attended six to seven conferences uh, physically, met hundreds of customers, uh, met potential partners, clients, competitors. Now this year is a little bit different and it's for all of us. And I think Udu as a company is one of the great examples to set up the virtual conferences and thank you Udu for that. Generally, Udu experience, we miss personal presence in Belgium, Udu connect in US San Francisco. So these are some of the things that we are missing. But I think the virtual conference is answer to that. So thank you for giving us the opportunity. And thank you for all of you guys to join this conference virtually. And I hope that at least this presentation, we try to make sure that your virtual experience become a personal experience as much as possible. To give you a customer success story for a company called DLRA and which we are extremely proud of implementing the entire full-blown ERP, enterprise ERP Udu series for them. Just to give you a background about DLRA, San Francisco based company, 70 years in the business, uh, ranked number one from a mobile alert system perspective or emergency medical alert system perspective. The core business is into residential and commercial security and they are into uh, healthcare emergency service provider for the elderly care team. Uh, the system claimed to be that at their in, uh, staff or their in, trained people are available 24 by 7 at a push of a button to contact your loved one, family, friends, neighbors or a 911 depend upon the emergency situation. Day Adharam, just to give a dive deeper into a company, extremely customer focused, customer driven, obsessed with the customer feedback, reviews, making sure that the client are given the best support possible. Some of their customer segment include the elderly people where customer satisfaction, personalized approach is the key aspect. And in order to give those type of approach, right, you need to have the right side of right set of systems in place. At this point of time, like you know, generally the companies, uh, according to the CMO report, for last 20 years, company is trying towards customer centricity as in their business approach. And the report suggests that 20% or the 14% of them has able to achieve customer centricity as a hallmark for their business. And out of which 11% of the companies where their customer believe that yes, the company has customer centricity as their main approach from a business perspective. And the Bayal Aram is one of them and we are extremely proud to get associated with them. In this age of uh, digitalization, you have lot of data, volume, velocity of the data from a customer segmentation perspective which comes to you. Now, if you don't have a right system, a technology, or a platform in place where you can integrate all this data, segment all those data, analyze the data and then make your approach, then your business challenges become difficult. And I think Bailaram was facing those type of struggle and wanted to go to the next level of growth and for that a right set of technology in place is one of the most important aspects. Just to name a few, right, I mean customer emotional need, the channel from which customer has approached you. Uh, the channel in which, like you know, the marketing channel which has helped you to get those customers. Uh, lifetime value of the customer. Return on investment from the customers. Uh, Cross-selling and upselling opportunity. These are some of the key aspects from any business perspective and the BLRM, like you know, is no different from. A little bit of background about BrainWire. So BrainWire is a digital transformation agency focused on enterprise web and mobile solutions. Uh, seven countries, 11 global offices, a large presence in US, 
कनाडा मिडिल ईस्ट एंड दुबई कतार कुवैत सिंगापुर यूरोप फिनलैंड एंड इंडिया टीम वाइज 800 प्लस रिसोर्सेज 100 प्लस ईआरपी इंप्लीमेंटेशन प्रोजेक्ट्स डन ओवर विद उरु पार्टनरशिप वाइज वी आर पार्टनर विद उरु वी आर गोल्ड पार्टनर वर्ल्ड वाइड एंड वी आर प्राउड टू बी एसोसिएटेड विद देम वी आर पार्टनर विद मजेंटो वी आर पार्टनर विद क्लाउड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एमेजॉन एडब्ल्यूएस माइक्रोसॉफ्ट अजियोर पार्टनर विद एसएपी ऑन एंटरप्राइज ईआरपी सेगमेंट रोबोटिक प्रोसेस ऑटोमेशन वी आर पार्टनर विद ऑटोमेशन एनीवेयर एंड ऑन बेस फ्रॉम आई एंटरप्राइज कंटेंट मैनेजमेंट सॉल्यूशन टू पैकेज सो दिस आर द पार्टनरशिप दैट वी कैरी एआई एमएल ब्लॉकचेन सॉफ्टवेयर 4.0 डेटा एनालिटिक्स आर सम ऑफ द की एस्पेक्ट फ्रॉम आवर बिजनेस सॉल्यूशन इन पर्सपेक्टिव वी हैव अ पर्सन और द मैन बिहाइंड दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मिस्टर एंडी गजपुरी who come president of ARR Medical comes with 25 years of experience proven product business leader with a broad experience of leading and successfully transforming executing the product and the business strategy his strategic vision in transforming the business and the technology portfolio for the organization has been remarkable the journey for him started in bear around 2 years back and when he joined there were certain challenges were thrown to him from organization perspective certain expectation from the management and he has proven it successful so we'd like to hear a little bit from him thank you for joining andy on this conference and thank you for giving us the opportunity to work with you and work with their medical so would you like to give a little bit of brief about your last two years of journey selection process a little bit about the udu and a brain wire from a digital transformation journey for the bhr medical absolutely thanks chintan thanks for having me um as you said uh, i joined the company around 2 years ago and uh, when i joined uh, the company had uh, certain issues or challenges that we had to go through in supporting our customers uh, i immediately realized that we probably have to get a, a system that was simpler um was more intuitive for our care agents to support our customers and here we are working with you trying to transform and bring the transformation into the company So thank you, Andy. Thank you for that. Uh, I will jump a little bit into uh, implementation challenges that we have gone through, and what were like you know the key highlights or the key challenges, and how those were like you know transforming the new platform. So maybe we'll start with the challenge one. Customer journey revamp was one of the challenge or one of the expectation on the new digital platform, and uh, how the Udu, Magento, and the entire implementation strategy helped us. Can you just give us a little bit of brief on that? Oh, absolutely. And for me, um, user experience and the user journey uh, is uh, critical for the success of a company. So when we, uh, with with the previous system, we had uh, several challenges in terms of how the customers uh, shopped with us because of the user interface, as well as how our care agents were able to support our customers. Uh, we were sorely missing a. Uh, integrated contact center experience for uh, for our customer agents so we had to start it from scratch we had to go back and rethink how we wanted to do this and we revamped and redesigned the uh, uh, user interface the way the customers are able to shop and improve their shopping experience from there we then in uh, built the back end for uh, integrated con- contact center experience for our agents which helped them to support our customers in a much faster in a much more quicker way quicker fashion which uh, ultimately provided the customers a great experience when they called us for any service issues and um as an example we were able to lower the time of handling a customer call um from an average of 10 minutes to about 7 minutes or so uh, after this change so that that essentially optimized how we were supporting our customers it provided a very good experience for our customers as well and 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 our agents were able to support more calls coming in and were more satisfied with the way they were able to support the customers thank you andy saving the time from the organization perspective i think is the best return on investment uh absolutely let's so let's get into our next challenge i think recurring payment subscription payment ongoing payment processing was one of the key challenge from a platform perspective so would you like to give a little bit of brief on correct and and um, i think i think that is um, one of our biggest challenges which which we had 
we were doing a lot of manual work when we uh, with the previous system we had to deal with um, multiple check uh, checks and refunds and things like that we were had to manually change dates for subscriptions to help them uh, help us or do some proration and all that stuff. And so it wasn't a good experience uh, neither for our care agents who were providing the support to the customers as well as the customers now because they were getting checks and uh, they had to go deposit their checks and all that stuff. So fundamentally what we needed to change was how the subscription payment worked or the process worked for us. We needed to make sure that if we, need, if we had to provide some kind of a credits to our customers, it shouldn't impact the customer as such. We should be able to do it seamlessly. And that's where um, the Udo system and BrainWire's expertise came in to help us with proration of subscription payments, billing changes or changing billing dates. Uh, in addition to that, we were able to implement uh, credit card updates that were pretty straightforward where the customer would get an email and there would be a link in there that they could automatically go in and update the credit cards instead of logging into their dashboards or calling into the into the company. I think um, these two uh, essentially changed the way we were supporting the customers and the experience that the customers are going through with us. Uh, fundamentally helped us improve uh, the morale within the company as well as with our customers. Thank you, Andy. And any organization, when it goes through a major digital transformation change, one of the key challenges comes is the timeline. And I think in case of Bayal Aram, there was certain software product renewal were coming and we had a certain quick around timeline was one of the key expectation was there. So would you like to give a little bit of brief on that? Brief Absolutely. That? Uh, with our previous systems, we actually <laughs> had contracts that we uh, we had to, um, we could not renew it and we didn't want to renew uh, a certain after a certain after the initial contract period. So there was a very uh, short time timeline that we had to work through on this one and get it implemented before the contract expired on the previous systems. And uh, I think uh, with the open source Udo and the BrainWire expertise that came in, we were able to pull through on that. We uh, were able to launch in time and uh, successfully on that, I would say. And we didn't have to renew our contracts with the previous system. So that, that's money saved for the company as well. And uh, that much faster, uh, we were able to get the teams trained on the systems as well and the new system and uh, the customers are now having a better experience with us uh, overall on how they are ha we are handling their accounts. Thank you, Andy. I think money save is always good from a organization or management perspective. And I would like to highlight here one thing, uh, single point of contact from a BLRM perspective and the way in which the entire project was executed was one of the key highlights in making sure that the agility pr process and the timeline be able to achieve. And I think in that case, like, you know, a single point of contact from Bayalaram and a single point of contact from BrainWire was the one of the key highlights for implementing the digital transformation or enterprise ERP platform. That was one of the key. Absolutely agree with you on that, Chinta. And I think uh, that both the teams, uh, you guys and us, we, uh, by having a single point of contact and working together on a, on a pretty much a daily basis, really, um, trying to pull this together uh, has helped. And, and obviously your team has uh, worked day and night to try and get this done for us. And I really appreciate that. And I think that has been the fundamental uh, driver in which we were able to get this done in, in record time. Absolutely. And I think it's a mutual expectation, I mean, relationship from both perspectives. Right. Uh, Third party integration was also one of the key expectation on a BLRM system that having integrating with communicating with so many third party system, making sure that all of those process are automated was one of the expectation as well. So that was also one of the key expectation or a challenge perspective while implementing. The uh, business model that we have, we absolutely have a whole bunch of third party integrations that we work with. That, in fact, we call them our partners because they, said they are fundamental to the way the business works. And integrations with them, whether it is a monitoring center that uh, that does a monitoring for our customers in, in case of emergencies, or whether it is a SIM card provider who provides our uh, SIM cards, or even the 3PL, for, uh, the shipper that helps with shipping our uh, systems and services to our customers. 
the this was very fundamental and key for our overall uh, solution that we needed to get together uh, get to you know, put together as well to help our customers and having that integrated solution as i mentioned earlier the integrated contact center experience that our agents now are able to use with everything on a single page and with everything being available um, on on a with this, within a single view, instead of moving different between different player pages, definitely helped us. And I think uh, the sync that happens through the throughout the customer journey with these third-party integrations has helped us um, to ship products faster, help us monitor them better, and all that stuff. So, and and it ultimately support the customer. Absolutely, I agree with you. I think Udu from an open source architecture perspective and uh, open source web services is one of the key highlights from a third party integration perspective and I think that has helped us to make sure that all the requirement from a third party integration perspective was able to achieve easily and without any major roadblock. And I think, yeah, I mean, last but not the least, I mean, one of the major challenges is always going to be for any major ERP implementation is the business process adaptation. So whether your organization is adapting to the ERP or whether the ERP is adapting to the organization and also giving the best practices. So I think that was also one of the key highlights in our entire implementation journey. So if you would like, like to highlight a little bit on that. I absolutely agree with that there, Chinta. And I think uh, with the open source platform that Udu brings and the flexibility Udu brought, we were able to get things customized and implemented the way we our business needs and practices uh, needed it to be. And that gave us a better approach to how we handled customer complaints or customer issues and support our customers. Uh, I, I think uh, definitely that is one of the big advantages that Udu has brought to the table for us. At the end, I wanted to highlight his achievement. Proudly implemented a full-blown Udu enterprise suites. Replacing with their sales force and financial force was one of the major achievement. Automating a complex shipping methodology with the ease with Udu, real-time integration between the commerce platform, mobile app, and all the third-party integrations, process enhancement and improvement was some of our key achievement on a Udu implementation for BLRA. With that, I open the floor and happy to answer any questions or queries that you have related to the platform presentation or the Udu implementation. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shinta and Andy, for this uh, enlightening talk and use case. We will now go right into the Q&A session. Uh, thank you, all viewers, for your questions. Please continue posting them in the chatter. We will address them along the way. In case there is no, uh, not enough time to address all of your questions during this Q&A session, we will post a link for an extended Q&A session afterwards. Um, we have a couple of um, stakeholders here present for this Q&A session. If I may ask you guys just to introduce yourself briefly, who, what's your name, what's your role, especially regarding this project, and then we jump right into the questions. Sure. I am Chintan Shah, uh, CEO of BrainWire, and we were the one who was implementing the project. So my team was the one who was implementing. And then we have Mr. Andy, Hey guys, this is Andy Ginjapali here. I'm the president of VLR Medical. Chirag. Hi, I'm Chirag Jogi, head of uh, BrainWire, head of uh, Udu department BrainWire. Uh, I was taking care of uh, technical departments from uh, uh, this VLR project. Thank you. Kevin. Kevin, I'm afraid we can't hear you. Is your uh, mic muted? Hi, I'm uh, Kevin Clare, and I worked with BrainBuyer uh, as a consultant on this project for the uh, Odoo implementation. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much, everyone, for this brief introduction. Um, there's a few questions coming in right now, so um, I will address them uh, sequentially. We have a question uh, from Atul Silentin for Tech. 
Um, what happens if the organizations rebels with provided solutions? So I, I think this question is a bit about resistance by the users uh, of the organization against a new solution that is brought in. I'm sure you guys can share something about that. Sure, I think Andy will be the right person. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I'll, I'll take that, and I think um, it's it's very important in this case the way we were able to avoid any of that kind of a rebellion <laughs> against a newer solution. <laughs> and change is always uh, always scary when uh, when you're not involved. What we did was we actually involved our teams. The um, the good thing with our company is a very small private company, so we were able to involve a lot of our key players and key um, leaders within the organization to showcase the advantages of Udu over the current solution and all that stuff. So that that has to happen in my mind, which is the buy-in of the custom of the of the people going who are going to use the solution. Uh, without the buy-in, it is going to be difficult to implement that change. And uh, I think that's the best way to do it. Absolutely agreed. We have an additional question from the same person. That is, uh, I think it's going to be easy to answer. What happens if the development cost and licensing costs are higher than the previous contract, meaning the Salesforce contract in this case? What happens then? Well, I mean, uh, we would have done, hopefully we would have done all that <laughs> uh, analysis beforehand. And, um, and, and uh, we would have signed a contract. In this case, we actually signed a three-year contract with Udu on the licensing and all that stuff. So we know that the costs are not going to go up. Um, and the flexibility with Udu, obviously, is that we can add as many licenses as we want along the, along the contract. And we can uh, get prorated uh, costs to that, unlike other um, CRMs that we have seen where we have to pay a lot, much, uh, a lot higher price for that if it's adding in the middle of the, uh, middle of the contract. So um, I guess it has to be, you have to do your due diligence in, uh, up front before you get into this, so. I think that's a, that's a very reasonable advice indeed. Um, yeah. We have, a, we have a, another question from Creamy Shah. She's asking, what are the challenges during a voice over IP integration and how could you handle that? Okay, I think Chirag, you want to take that? Yeah, so, uh, when we when we integrated uh, VOIP, so multiple challenge was like API. So once we integrate with any third party, the main challenge will be re ready-made APIs available or not. But Udo gives such kind of flexibility. Having open API was very helpful in terms of uh, in terms of integration with the multiple third party. So in Baylor Medical, we have like almost five to six integration, and uh, one of the uh, main ch challenges was API integration and. Uh, Udo API helps a lot in terms of your integration. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, another question of Ravi Jadev. How did Udo help you to overcome work challenges as compared to Salesforce? So I guess this is addressing a little bit the benefits of Odoo in your particular work context, Andy, as opposed to Salesforce. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think uh, one of the big outcomes that we wanted to see when we started to rethink about the ERP system itself is the integrated contact center experience. And by that, what I mean is my care agents who are supporting our customers, uh, how much time are they spending moving around in the system, right? Mm -hmm. How much time are they spending to try and support the customer? For us, we needed to absolutely work on making it very flexible, intuitive for our care agents so that they can support the customer uh, quickly. Udu pro provided that for us, which is having data in the single screen, all of the information of the customer within the same screen, um, fewer clicks for the care agent to click around in the system to try and figure out what's going on with that account. So that actually helped us, and that was one of our biggest drivers to, um, to go with Udu. And in fact, we are starting to see that outcome, uh, realize that outcome actually with, with our care agents. Now the talk time is reduced by about 20% already. Um, when it used to take about 10 minutes, now it's taking eight minutes to support a single customer on an average. So that I think uh, is a big, big uh, win for us. Okay, thank you for providing a few KPIs here as well. That always makes it a bit more tangible to see how uh, mm -hmm. uh, Udu really uh, excels in this particular use case. Um, I, I just asked for, oh, okay, 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 now I, I just asked for some um, 
additional explanation from one of our viewers here. And now I have a new question for you. Um, how, how did you manage the change management in the newly provided solution? I think Andy, you, you explained this already before. So I think we can skip this question. Um, um, or, I yeah? did explain that. I kind of alluded to that. Uh, I think for most part, it works smoothly for us because we involve the teams up front. However, uh, having said that, there have been some challenges, of course, as with any change at this scale, it's complete change. It's, it's a complete mindset change for the team as well. Um, so it's, it's just working with them, working closely with them, trying to sit, talk to the team leaders, uh, trying to talk to the care agents, uh, continuously working with them, asking them what the challenges are, fixing those challenges along the way, all that stuff. So. Uh, I would say, as an example, we uh, Udo's search functionality was a little tricky, right? It it wasn't as flexible as we had in uh, the previous solution. So now, what we did is we worked through that, customized it, and it's it's uh, the search functionality. Thanks to Brainwire team, they worked through to try and customize it for us. It's much more flexible. It brings up a lot more information that the customer, that the care agent needs to go through, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's more uh, easier to type in and search for something. So there are going to be some challenges like that, but it is uh, as as leaders, it was my responsibility to work with the teams, make sure that they understand uh, the change and the need behind the change and why and all that stuff. So it is something that you have to work through as a lead team lead. Thank you so much, Andy, for this uh, additional elaboration on that question. Very helpful indeed. Um, thank you so much, everyone. Unfortunately, we have to close this Q&A session here right now. Um, to you, dear viewers, if you still want to address questions to uh, Shinto and his team, please follow the link that is going to be posted on the chatter right now. Um, other than that, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us here today. And I wish you a wonderful Udu experience. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Udu. Thank you, Udu. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Peace.